Meanwhile, in River State, the caretaker committee of the All Progressives Congress has reported for duty with a promise to turn around the fortunes of the party in our future elections. Senior correspondent Uchiokuru was there when they inspected uh, facilities at the party secretariat in Port Harcourt. He has more details on this. The appointment of a seven-member team to run the APC has been received with mixed feelings, and many are wondering if this would end years of leadership tussle in the party. More so, the task ahead of them is how to reconcile the warring factions something that has seemed impossible since members broke ranks in 2019. With what looks like a weak support base of disenchanted members of the grassroots since the APC's electoral woes began in 2015, is there enough left to rebuild? We believe. This poses paints a picture of the challenge before these caretaker committee members who say they are prepared. Our business is to build a party. And so we are also advising that those who have um, something they need to tell us, not by way of gossip. Please, we are ready, we are available to hear. And if it's about gossip, we, are, we have told ourselves that we may not be interested in listening to, to gossip, but that's not how the party will grow. We have come with a clean heart. We call it tabula rasa. Our minds are open. Starting from the council elections in 2024, the APC has its sights on proving itself as a worthy opposition. We're going to be a party to contest election, like we said, against a government that is in power. So we must present a viable opposition in the state today. And that at the end of the day, the local government elections that will know that we'll be here soon. Our party will win seats in the councillorship, 319 councillorship in the states, in the three local governments. And at 2027, it's not going to be uh, a walk in the park for any other political party other than the APC University. The state secretariat has been a shadow of itself for lack of the usual activities for many months. The structure and facilities are begging for attention and so it is no surprise that the committee members say the promised change will start by giving the secretariat a new look. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.